guys, it's your girl Ashley if you're new to my channel. What's up? So today I have a tutorial on this look. Okay, and guess what? It's all drugstore on a budget looking fly, looking hella fly. So if you guys want to create this look, then make sure to keep on watching. I'm actually pretty excited that I'm filming this right now. I've been wanting to film like a full face using drugstore products for a minute, so pretty happy right now so like always i'm gonna start off by carving my brows i'm using this concealer this is the maybelline fit me in the shade 11 vanilla so i'm just gonna apply this underneath the brow bone i love to do this before i do my eyeshadow so today we're doing eyeshadow first and then the rest of the face i'm just gonna use this real techniques brush to blend this out i did bring it in to the inner part of the eye just because I want to make sure that I just have some kind of color there because I hate when I do my eyeshadow and then when I'm trying to blend like concealer and foundation in this area because I have eyeshadow I feel like I can't like really get product in there. Now for my base I'm going to be using this Milani eyeshadow primer. This is in the shade 01 nude. Now I have never used this primer before so I really don't know what to expect but the way that it came out right now reminded me a lot of the urban decay eyeshadow like eden one i don't know if you guys remember that one but that one used to be like the jam back then a couple years ago kind of reminded me a little bit of it just by the way that it came out and like the color so i'm used to like my primers to really stand out and have like pigment so this one didn't really I mean, there's some color in there. I'm just going to put a little bit more just like in case. I'm just not used to it, so I really don't know what to expect. Now, maybe it will be better if I use my fingers, but, you know, my nails are a little bit too long right now. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, look at my nails. My girl Blanca, she does nails. Check her out. White Rose Beauty. She is so talented. Check her out. I'll make sure to put her um, Instagram link in my description box. Today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Opposite the Track eyeshadow palette. Now this one has a decent amount of matte and a few shimmer shades. Today I want to create something that's a little bit like warm and like bronzy. I mean, you we're going to use the neutrals. These are the go-to colors. You know what I mean. So with my Morphe JH33 brush, I grabbed the color Cheeky, which is that nice, warm, like, kind of orangey color and I'm going to be applying this on the crease so I'm just going to go back and forth window wiper motions and I'm going to keep doing this until I'm satisfied with the way that it looks okay you know I'm a little shook it right now with this eyeshadow primer because I mean again I'm used to the eyeshadow primers that I use to really cover up the whole lid and give me like a nice you know base you can say but this one kind of looks a little bit like translucent but yet i mean the eyeshadow is sticking to it so so far so good for that eyeshadow primer with this morphe jh35 brush it doesn't have anything i'm just going to use this to very gently soften that color going even more up i have hooded eyes so that's why i bring my eyeshadow so up I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but yes, I do. I got them hooded eyes, girl. Blessed. Um, anyways, just very gently blending and softening up that line because I don't want it to be too harsh because I'm also going to go in with another color to use as my transition shade. So with the JH35 brush, I grabbed the color Sassy and I'm going to be applying this on top of that cheeky color as my transition shade. So very lightly blending this in. And that way it's going to be like a darker, warm color. You know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Gradually fading out to a lighter color. So that is the goal here. And with this Morphe M511 brush, I grabbed the color Fresh. And I'm going to be applying this basically on the brow bone for me. I did bring my eyeshadow all the way up. And this new tone color is definitely going to help blend so that we don't have like a harsh line. Now with this Morphe M433 brush, I grabbed the color Warm and I'm going to be applying this on the crease and the outer part of the eye. This is going to help darken up that eyeshadow. You guys, this eyeshadow um, brush, it's already like in its last days, but I don't want to give up. Like this is one of my favorite brushes. So I just need to order another one because it's starting to like shed. I've had it for so many years, but um, it's, you know, I just don't want to let it go. So in case you see some 
little bolitos flying here and there. Don't tell, you know, I warned you. I warned you. Keep applying until you are satisfied with the pigmentation. I really want to make sure that I get it nice and warm. So necessarily focusing the color more on the bottom and then whatever is left, bringing it up. Back with the JH33 brush, I grabbed a little bit more of that cheeky color. And I'm going to focus it on the crease because I don't want to lose the warmthness. And as well as I'm trying to make sure that I'm bringing this color more up. Because like I said, I have hooded eyes. So I need to make sure that everything blends more up. I'm grabbing a little bit more of that warm color. And again, just darkening the outer part of the eye. This is all just going back and forth. Keep adding colors. Well, I mean, the colors that you had already used. Like You're going to want to continue to blend on the outer part of the eye, on the crease, until you're satisfied with the way that the colors look and blend. With the same M433 brush, I grabbed the color Bold. And I'm going to be applying this kind of like on the center and going outward. I don't want to bring it all the way in because I am going to be using a different color there. With a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm grabbing the color Spicy. And I'm going to be applying this on the eyelid. But it's going to be mainly in the inner part of the eyelid. And working it to the center. So I'm like tapping it onto the lid. And then dragging it a little bit. I'm going to go in with the JH33 brush and it has just a tiny bit of that cheeky color like whatever was left from the last time that I used it. And I'm just going to very lightly go over the crease to make sure that everything blends very well because I don't want any harsh lines. Let's go ahead and go on to the face. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I don't think I've ever used this before, but it's so interesting the way that this is. So it looks white. So it's supposed to kind of, you know, help mattify the face. So <laughs> we'll see about that because yo girl, <laughs> she is combination. I feel like one of the struggles I had when I did work at the drugstore uh, was trying to find a primer. That for me was one of the hardest things because like I said, I have combination skin and I feel like I didn't really, at least I can't remember like what primer I used while working there. Like which one did I like? Can't remember. Before I put on my foundation, I do want to go ahead and conceal first. I'm going to be using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is supposed to be the brightening concealer. Now I used to use this all the time when I used to work at the drugstore. Because I remember being like, ooh, I need a, you know, especially when I had to open in the mornings, girl, I needed that brightness oh my gosh my eyes are starting to get tear eye i don't know why this is the struggle that's why when i watched um james charles like the instant influencer when um benny kept saying about how like he has an eye condition i was like girl <laughs> i can relate he ain't lying that is real i'm gonna go ahead and use this amorphe jh08 brush to blend this out just gonna focus this right under the eye. Now for my actual concealer, I'm gonna be using again the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 11 Vanilla. And <laughs> my dog is being so active right now. He either wants to walk around my room that has hardwood floors so you can hear his little like paws or he wants to go ahead and uh, play with his toys, so. If you hear that, you hear that. Back again with the Morphe brush. I'm just going to go ahead and buff this under the eyes. I actually really, really like this brush for buffing in the concealer underneath the eyes. I just feel like it just blends very well, especially because I have like really big pores underneath my, uh, well, not underneath my skin, on my skin. I just feel like it just helps, you know, kind of blend them and bl blur. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but... I just really like this brush when it comes to blending out my concealer. I am excited to try this foundation. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 120. I've been hearing amazing things about this foundation. I've been wanting to get my hands on it for a while, but it was sold out. Every target that I would go to, sold out. Walgreens, sold out. Specifically in this color. So this is a classic ivory. I honestly don't know if this is going to be a good match. It has a pump, so that's a plus. 
That's a plus, Ronaldo. You guys can see him, but he's really like right there. I'm just gonna pump some out. And I'm gonna be using the microfiber. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's, he's just crazy. It's crazy. I'm using the microfiber blender. <laughs> My dog won't stay still and I can't take him out. Okay. And I'm going to be applying this all over the face. This is actually this beauty blender. I got it at Target. So, hey, that's a drugstore. Ooh, I applied way too much. So far, it's going on very nicely. And I feel like I did a pretty good job when it comes to the shade. I feel like it looks pretty good. Now, before I set my under eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I blend out any creasing. That could have happened because the worst thing you can do is set powder on that crease because you gonna see it, girl. You gonna see it. Now to set my under eyes, I'm gonna be using this Fit Me Loose powder in the shade 10. Now I like this one because it does have a little bit of a hint of color. It has like a yellow tone to it, which I kind of like, so it's gonna help brighten underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna basically bake. So I'm gonna set my under eye. I personally like setting my under eyes and baking because I feel like it gives me extra coverage underneath the eye without having to apply like so much concealer and um, I'm just used to it too like I can't not not do this like this is what I'm used to now to set the rest of my face I'm gonna be using this Maybelline fit me matte plus poreless pressed powder this is in the shade 100 which is translucent I'm gonna be using this morphe jh01 brush now for so many years, you know, I have combination skin. I've always set my whole face. I have tried, like, not setting my face, and I just feel weird. Like, I can't, I can't do it. But you guys can customize this. I know there's some people who don't set their face, so by all means, do you, boo. So time to bronze up my skin. I'm a little nervous because I'm going to be using this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade Deep Bronzer. It actually smells really good. I just don't know how it's gonna look on the skin and like my face right now is looking really good so the last thing I need is for this to like not work but that looks like it's doable so I'm gonna be using this Kevin Aquan this is the loose powder brush let's start off with the forehead I always bronze up my forehead tengo una pinche forehead bien grande y la tengo que difuminar porque pues la tengo grande no que bendición you would think that because I have a big forehead, I would have, you know, a very smart brain. Pero como que no es así, eh? Okay, I'm going to stop roasting myself before you guys think that it's okay to do so, too. So far, it's not looking so bad. I'm just going to put some on my cheeks. This smells so good. It literally smells like you're on vacation. I don't even know how to explain that to you, but that's literally what it just smells like. I'm just going to go ahead and dust off the baking underneath the eyes and with the same bronzer i'm just gonna use this to contour my nose time for some blush i'm gonna be using this wet and wild pinch me pink blush now i wish i didn't have to use this blush right now because you know the colors that we have going on are very warm so i wish i would have used like a peachy kind of uh, blush so the fact that this is like you know pinky <laughs> I hope it turns out good. This is the Morphe J04 brush. I'm just tapping my brush into the blush, tapping out the excess, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this on my cheeks very lightly. I'm gonna be doing my brows now, and I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This is in the shade Light Brunette. I remember using this all the time. When I lived in Washington, I lived in an island called Whidbey. And not sure if some of you are familiar with that island, but there's no Sephora, homegirl, okay? There's no Sephora, there's no Ulta. You have to drive like an hour away or so to go to the uh, nearest uh, Ulta or Sephora. So that's why also I stick to, you know, drugstore products. And um, so it was really hard for me to get my hands on like, you know, the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz because that's like my jam right now. And, I mean, I could have online shopped, but I'm someone who hates online shopping. Like, I prefer if I can get it, like, now. So, I remember using this one all the time. It was this one, and then there was another one from Maybelline. Can't remember the name of it. But, the thing about it is that I personally like to use an eyebrow pencil that is in the taupe kind of color, which is, like, an ashy kind of brown. Because a lot of the brunettes, um eyebrow pencils have red in it and I can't stand that I don't want my eyebrows to look that warm 
I prefer for them to look a little bit more like cool toned. So that's the only problem that I've noticed when it comes to like drugstore eyebrows. I haven't found one that's more of like a cool tone for my liking. To finish the brows, I'm going to use a tinted brow mascara. This is from the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Brunette. Now I'm just going to go ahead and brush this on my eyebrows. I've literally had this for so long and I still haven't ran out and I use this every single time. I do my brows. So let's go back to the eyes and finish them. I'm going to be using this Morphe JH40 brush and I'm grabbing the color Warm, which is the shade that we use to apply in the outer part of the eye. So now I'm just going to focus this as close to the lash line as possible, the lower lash line, connect it to the outer part as well, and then start blending this out. I want to make it look nice and smoky. Now with a flat eyeshadow brush like this one, I'm gonna grab the color low key, cause you know we're gonna keep this low key. And I'm gonna be dabbing, dabbing, no. I'm gonna be tapping this on the inner part of the eye. And this is going to just give a nice little highlight. You know, honestly, I'm a little shook it. I was not expecting that color low key to look like this because it has like a little bit of a pink undertone, but yet it's bright enough to put on the, on, um, like as a highlight. I was a little worried that it was going to be too like gray, like silver. And like, this is very warm. So I'm actually very happy with the way that this is looking time for some eyeliner. I'm going to be using this NYX matte liquid eyeliner. This is in the shade black. Now, again, I was debating whether I wanted to do a wing or just a line. And um, honestly, I think I'm just wanting to do a line because I want to make sure that the focus is just the eyeshadow. And I feel like if I did a wing, it would kind of take away from it a little bit. I already went ahead and curled my lashes. So time for mascara. I'm using this L'Oreal Voluminous Original Carbon Black Mascara. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer because then I'm going to play some falsies. My favorite lash glue right now is the dual brush on adhesive. Now, what I've been liking to do too is to actually brush on the glue to the lash line instead of applying it on the lash like band for your falsies. I don't know why I lost my train of thought there. I just feel like it actually sticks on better and they last longer. With this Jordana black pencil eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the top waterline as well as the bottom waterline. Doing that, especially on the top waterline, is going to help blend the lash band even more. For the eyes to finish off, I'm just going to apply some mascara on my lower lashes and then we'll be done with the eyes. Now for lips, I'm going to be using this lip liner. This is from NYX. This is in the shade Natural. This is my go-to lip liner and like general lipstick because uh, I just love it. It's every day. It goes with literally everything, any makeup look. I'm going to go ahead and try on this liquid lipstick. This is the Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick. I believe this is from Rimmel in the shade Rosetto. So it's like a nude lipstick. So let's see if I will like it. Next up is highlight. I'm going to be using this Milani highlighter. This is called After Glow. I'm using the Anastasia A23 brush. So I'm just going to grab some. I'm going to apply it on the tops of my cheeks. I typically don't like to highlight so much because of the texture of my skin. But wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that highlight. That was like right away. That was immediate. Wow. For a drugstore, that's pretty good actually. So last step is setting the face, even though I'm not really going anywhere, but I still want to set it, you know, complete the whole drugstore theme. I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finishing Spray, basically. So just shaking it and... All right, so this actually squirts out very like... Like squirt, squirt. So be careful. <laughs> So this is the final look and like always I did not bother to do my hair because tengo hueva, tengo hueva, pero oh my god you guys look at this face. This is beat. I'm beat. I feel like if I was walking down the street 
you would be like, damn, that girl's face is beat. And you would have not guessed that it was all drugstore. You would have been like, damn, that girl went to Sephora and spent some money, some coin. Girl, I feel like I look good. I look real good. And oh my God, I'm talking more with my hands and with these nails. I'm feeling extremely extra. Blanca, thank you so much. Like, girls, look. Look at these. Oh my goodness. They're so good. Now, I don't know if you guys um, got a chance to see the other set that I had in my previous video. If you haven't, make sure to check them out. I'll go ahead and put her information in the description box. So also make sure to check that out. Um, also, all the products that I use in today's video will be in the description box. So again, make sure to check that out. And if you guys uh, haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that bell button to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Hit that like button and lets me know like what kind of videos you guys like for me, you know. It just does and it helps me out. So make sure to do that. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys own any of these products? Or do you have a holy grail that's a drugstore product that you just can't live without that I didn't try out? Let me know because I am interested in using more drugstore makeup. So go ahead and do so. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. I post later previews of when I'm filming and all the goody good stuff. So make sure to do that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.